Our project for this week is going to be making an abstract self-portrait. So I'm going to start off by sketching my design and I am sketching using a Sharpie. That is purely because it shows up better on camera. You should of course plan your composition using a pencil first. And I'm going to make mine in a simple sort of cartoony style, but then I also want to make it more abstracted. So I am going to make it a little bit cubist inspired where I'm going to fragment and simplify shapes and things like that. So I'm drawing a very loose cartoony sort of portrait of me playing a guitar because I'd like to see a little bit of you and your interests and your personality in this work as well. So show us something about yourself by including symbols and things um, that represent things that you like because the idea with art is to show a little bit of insight into the subject and then after I've sketched out the basic elements again sort of twisting and modifying the shapes I'm gonna make it more abstract by repeating some of the similar types of lines and shapes that I see within the composition um, on a larger scale and um, using it to fragment or break up the overall design. After I've sketched everything out, I'm going to simply color. Now as I add color, I want to think about all the different ways I could do this. It doesn't have to be colored neatly and solidly inside of the lines. I could make it look like paint is dripping down some of the shapes as a way of also incorporating my interest in the visual arts. I can do a little bit of shading to create gradients making it look like there are shadows and highlights across the shapes. Um, I can incorporate patterns and different types of designs. What I'm going to do is mostly color with crayons, but again, um, as I've said during remote learning, you have your choice of materials. One of the things I really like about crayons is the versatility. I can create good variety with just one or a limited number of crayons. I can create different shades of that color. Um, I can also blend the colors. So even if I only have a few crayons available to me, I can create a wide range by layering different colors on top of each other and blending them. So I am making my face nice and colorful by blending a, a couple of different colors. I've got some pinks and some blue and green and orange and yellow all mixed together across there. And I thought, sort of as a stylistic element, I want to repeat some things in different areas to unify the composition. So I am going to use that same coloring technique a little bit on that I used on, on my face and my hair on the guitar to create a connection between those two focal points, but also to balance out the composition because sort of one is at the top, one is at the bottom. So when I see the same style and same elements repeated in different parts of the composition, it helps to unify it, but also create sort of um, suggestion for my eye to go from one part to another of the composition. My eye goes from the face down to the guitar, which is similarly colored. It helps to create that little bit of movement across the composition, as do the lines and things like that. So I'm repeating that splatter painting or drip, you know, paint drip in a shape on the left and the right side of my composition. I'm also going to incorporate patterns as I color because I really like patterns and systems and I like to break things down and study the structure and understand that. But I also, for the purposes of this example, wanted to show you different approaches and different techniques you can use. Again, it doesn't all have to be one solid color in a shape. You can mix colors. You can use patterns. You can The patterns don't have to be just stripes. They could be zigzag, wavy lines, dotted lines, all sorts of different things. So be creative and have fun with it. Remember, abstract means that you are purposefully changing one or more element. It doesn't have to look exactly like you. It should represent you. You're trying to show sort of yourself and ideas beyond just the physical appearance um, to show sort of ideas about you. So you should be purposely modifying one or more element to convey an idea about you in your portrait. Be creative and have fun with it.